In this video, we will walk through how to convert and install tubeless tires on a fat tire bike. Hello, Calvin Jones here with the Park Tool Company. Converting from an inner tube system to a tubeless system can be done, but there are limitations. Ideally, the rim and tire should be designated as tubeless ready or tubeless conversion system in order to get an acceptable bead seat to the rim. This designation may also appear in the information provided by the manufacturer. However, there are no industry-wide tubeless ready fit standards. And if your equipment has no tubeless designation, you can try converting, but results can vary widely. You will need scissors, seal pick or small cross-tip screwdriver, tubeless valves, tubeless rim tape, rags for cleaning, compressor and inflator head, sealant, and for the alternate installation method, a valve core remover, and a syringe. Prepare the rim by removing any inner tube style rim strip. Clean inside the rim channel using a solvent that will not leave an oily film, such as with alcohol or acetone. If the rim has large holes, such as this one, reinstall the rim strip. If there are no holes, do not reinstall the strip. Choose a sealing tape of an appropriate width for the rim. In this case, we'll need to overlap the tape in the middle of the rim. Begin by engaging the tape at least one spoke hole away from the valve. Align the tape to one side, close to the rim sidewall. Pull on the tape as you press it firmly to the rim surface. Work slowly to keep the tape in place and keep it smooth. Pass over the valve hole again so the tape is overlapped. Cut the tape. Repeat the taping on the other side and again see that the tape overlaps in the middle. Press again on the tape, especially in the middle, where the two pieces overlap. Locate the valve hole. Use a sill pick or a small cross-tip screwdriver to punch a round hole through the tape. Insert the valve through the tape and through the valve hole. Install the O-ring, if any, and install the valve nut. Make sure the nut is secure. Regardless of what tubeless tire you have, the process for installation is the same. Check for any arrows printed on the sidewalls to indicate direction of wheel rotation. Align the tire with the rim accordingly. It can also be useful to align the recommended tire pressure label with the valve. Install one bead on the rim. Install the second bead beginning at the valve. Leave a portion of the bead uninstalled. At this point in the process, there's an alternate method, but it requires a removable valve core, which will have these small wrench flats at the tip and a syringe. If you have these, skip to the time shown. Otherwise, let's continue. Check the label for the recommended amount of tire sealant and pour in the fluid. Slowly rotate the wheel to keep the fluid at the bottom while your unmounted bead comes up to the top. Finish installing the bead. Inflate the tire to the rider's desired pressure. If the bead does not seat at the rim, it may be difficult or impossible to fill the tire. It can be helpful to use a tire lever and slide the bead to the edge of the rim. Attempt to inflate again and check the bead for proper seating. Over inflating can help seat tough beads, but only do this if necessary. Here, Overinflation stresses the rim strip, which weakens the bond of the adhesive tape inside the wheel. 
check that the tire bead is correctly seated. On this mountain bike tire, the bead seat is too low. Deflate the tire, break the bead at the low point, and lubricate with soapy water. Reinflate. Spin the wheel to move sealant around inside the tire. Hold the wheel horizontally and oscillate the wheel to help spread the fluid around the bead. Flip the wheel and repeat. Now we wait. The sealant inside needs to fully set and block any leaks. As an option, go ride the bike. But the important thing is to keep the fluid moving around. Every few hours, maintain pressure and give it a spin. It's common for air to leak in a variety of places and soapy water gives us a better visual. This leak at the valve stem can be mitigated by tightening the nut. In most cases, the sealant will do its job and stop the leaks. This can happen immediately, but sometimes it takes hours and even days. When the air is holding consistently, set the tire to the rider's desired pressure. This wheel is ready to use. Now let's walk through an alternate installation process for those with a removable valve core and a syringe. First, check the label for the recommended amount of tire sealant and fill the syringe. Instead of leaving a gap at the second bead, we'll mount both beads before adding any sealant. Check that the valve is secure in the rim and then remove the core using a valve core remover such as the Park Tool VC1. Inflate the tire, allowing the bead to seat. It may be difficult or impossible to fill the tire, and in this case, it can be helpful to use a tire lever to slide the tire bead to the edge of the rim. Attempt to inflate again. We just want to press the bead to the sidewall. Pull off the airhead. For the most part, the bead will stay seated to the rim. Inject the fluid. Install the valve core and secure. Inflate the tire and check the bead for proper seating and finish the rest of the process as shown before. Here are some final tips on use of tubeless fat tires. Maintain your pressure to at least minimum levels. In the tubeless tire system, some bleeding of pressure is considered normal and acceptable. This is why checking your air pressure is often important. Even though the big advantage of tubeless systems is riding at lower air pressures, there are instances where the system can fail. The worst load is the lateral impact. Here, the impact may cause what is called a burp. The tire bead, just for an instant, opens, allowing some air to escape. The pressure is now lower, and for every burp, you are more and more susceptible to getting a complete flat tire. So check and maintain your pressure. Keep track of what pressure has been working for you. And that seals the deal on fat tire tubeless conversion and installation. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for the latest videos from Park Tool.